Meet the crown prince of baseball, Max Patkin. Max, good to see you because when we talk to you, we have a chance to go back and visit a little bit of Kansas City baseball history. What comes to mind when you hear Kansas City baseball? Well, the old Kansas City ballpark. When I performed there in the, uh, in the late 40s, uh, when Dick Bartell was the manager. In fact, my old roomie, who was Al Rosen, played there before he joined the Cleveland Indians. And Hank Bauer, who I broke in with, and uh, oh my gosh, a good many years ago in, in the old Wisconsin State League. But uh, I never forget the time. Boy, he was a tough manager, Dick Bartell. He was from the old school. And I'm one of the few baseball coaches that, or comedians, if you want to call it the clown prince of baseball, that travels all over the country working minor league ballparks that wasn't really appreciated by some of the old stay-by old baseball players because I coach while the game is in progress. See, I'm the only one that's allowed to do it. And uh, by traveling uh, 100,000 miles every summer, which I'm going to do again this summer for the 43rd straight year, believe it or not. And you had a chance to see the Black Baseball League circuit as well. Oh, I've worked with the Black Baseball League. The Monarchs, League. for sure. Tell Kansas, me about the Monarchs. Kansas City Monarchs. When I remember the old Kansas City Monarchs, when, when I traveled with the bar and storm with the uh, Bob Feller All-Stars, we played the Kansas City Monarchs out of California. Uh, out in the, along the coast here, all along different, Satchel Page was the star pitcher. How uh, fast was he? Oh my gosh, he could throw, and I, I'll never forget, I still forget, when I was a kid growing up in Philadelphia, which is my home, I used to watch Satchel Page pitch, and let me tell you, he, they don't have the guns, and the, they didn't have the guns, the uh, radar guns, to time the ball, uh, the speed of a ball in those days. I would say Satchel threw around 95 miles an hour. I have to believe it, yes. And he could hit a dime, like the old expression, he could put it on a dime. And he didn't even have a curveball in those days. I was with the St. Louis Browns in 1951 when Satchel was in his 50s. I worked for Bill Veck, and he was with the ball club. And I used to warm up Satch. My routine was coaching one and two innings of every ball game. And I'd warm up Satch when he'd come in. And let me tell you something, that was the funniest thing. He'd throw me that blooper pitch, and I'd take the big swan dive, and the crowd <laughs> loved it. But to make a long story, so, uh, story short about Satch, there was, you know, in, a, in baseball, what is more boring than a pitcher coming in from the bullpen to, to pitch, right? Long wait. A, a long wait, and you go to the men's room, you go out to the concession stand. But Satchel Page, when, came in, when he came in from the bullpen, everything stopped. And he would walk with that gait is, with those big feet. And with every stride, as he got closer to the mound, the crowd would stir. And then he'd get to the mound, and he'd, he'd, he'd throw one or two, and he'd, one or two pitches. That's all he threw, warm-ups. And he'd turn around and says, Oz is ready. And I'm telling you, he would throw that ball. And he was faster than even his uh, late years in life. How is baseball different in his day when you were working with him and the way it is now? Well, there were two... Eight-team leagues. That's, I know we don't have a lot of time on this show to explain the whole thing, but I'll try to condense it as fast as I can. The difference of baseball, the players in my day and in the 30s and 40s and early 50s, they were great. But the thing that has changed baseball is the, is the expansion. Expansion has done it. And, these, and the, uh, the AstroTurf and all these new stadiums. And the, but the fact that they made... So many new teams, they've weakened the structure of the of the type of ball player. The players of today are great. Kind of thinned if, out the personnel. That's exactly right. If you took the best players out of the 24 to 26 teams that are around baseball today and you put them in the two eight-team leagues like when we were in my day, you'd have some great ball players. And listen, Max, let's remind everybody, you were around long before the chicken. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the chicken's good. I won't knock him. And he's making only a million dollars a year. Oh, is that all? Oh, that's all. Are you kidding? The last check I got, the newsboy cashed my check. <laughs> I'm only joking, I hope. <laughs> now you're a movie star. I'm not really a movie star, but I'm so flattered and so thrilled to be in this movie, Bull Durham. In fact, uh, Ronnie Shelton, who is the writer and the director of the movie, used to watch me perform in Amarillo, Texas. He used to be a second baseman. He played for uh, Joe Altabelli at, at the Texas Rangers. Well, they weren't the Rangers in those days, the Orioles. And then he played also at second base in Rochester. And he remembered me, and he loved my act. And he wrote me into the film. Not that I have a great big part, but the fact that a lot of people will see me that never saw Max Patkin, that would probably have said, like a lot of these writers here today at this particular conclave, they'll all say, what is a Max Patkin? Well, now they'll know. Oh, they'll know. What, do you, what do you think? Would Satchel have had charisma to be on film? Oh, my gosh, he was fantastic. The man was, and I'm not going to be uh, trying to be cute, but he was colorful. And it's something, 
he that there's a lot of players don't have today. There was only X, and we can count them on your two hands. Guys that would would really get you excited when they go out there like a pitcher or a certain character. You know, Excellent. Frederick was a great one. I thought he was great until he hurt his arm. I'll tell you what, we're going to break this down because you're going to do some of your act for us. Are you going to give us a look? Well, I won't give you my act. I don't have my uniform or anything, but I'll give you a few motions that I make out there in some of the faces. And, you know, I'm a pretty guy. Okay, let's go ahead and cut it now. Okay. Shall I stand back? Or can I just... Uh, when, I, uh, when I coach, I usually... When I coach, I usually give the sign to the catcher, you know, I mean, to the batter and uh, whatever's coming. Okay. And, I'm, and, I, and I go through these different motions and some of the facial expressions I make. And I'm very loose joining them. When I get the uniform on, you'll appreciate it. This is the one I always like when I lean over and I start to try to, you know, to give the sign. And I... Face it, come on. <laughs> yes, sir, let's go. Hit that ball. Oh, jeez, why, yay. How corny can you be? Thank you, Max. Okay. Fantastic. They'll love it. That's <laughs> okay. Appreciate it so much.